Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for joining. As a disclaimer, this is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or directed at children. Okay guys, so it is time <laughs> for me to finally share with you my colouring book collection. Um, but I will also at the same time be showing you my completed pages and my whips. So there will be a few parts to this because there's a lot to get through. If you see any books that you would like an entire flip through of, please feel free to let me know either down in the comments below or you can email me. Um, message me on Facebook Messenger or Instagram, whatever is easier for you, my lovelies, and I will make a note and get those flip throughs done for you. Okay, so the first set of books I would like to share with you are my Sun Life drawing books, um, and these are the first ones I'm showing because I am co hosting a colour along this month with the lovely Lisa from Lisa's Colouring Corner, and we are colouring from our Sun Life drawing books. So I have three, four, five, six, I have seven, and then I have one that's completed. Um, <clears throat> if I grab the completed one as well, I didn't think of that. Okay, right. So the first one is One Color Mandala by Sun Life Drawing. This is a new book which I received for my birthday as happy mail and it is beautiful so they're printed single-sided with the black on the reverse as we see in our jade summer books but they're lovely they fit the page beautifully the book is smaller in size but it's really really nice and there are two pages that I have completed in this one and these have been over the last two nights so this one and this one but they're, they're absolutely beautiful and so much fun to colour the next this is the um, the book that I completed and it is the Animal Colour by Number Mosaic again by Sun Life Drawing. They were just some bonus pages in the back. But yeah, this book is my second ever completed colouring book. And these are great for you know your your Crayola super tips, your Statler markers, um your gel pens if you so wish alcohol markers I would just be mindful because of course they bleed so they will sort of go into the lines around the mosaic shapes but this was just so much fun to colour and there is a complete flip through of the entire book completed on the channel if you want to go and check that out the next book by Sun Live Drawing is stained glass colour by numbers Christmas. Um, we have a 22 colour palette which is standard for the Sun Life drawing books. But as you can see again they are beautiful, so fun to colour and my completed pages in here. And these were done with um, Crayola Super Tips. I think some, some Cali Art markers were probably used in places. I think I used my Arteza Everblend markers actually. Um, was it that page? Yeah, I've got a funny feeling it was that page. There was a colour in chat for it. No, I tell a lie. I'm really sorry. It was this one. It was this page. Can't really tell much difference between the oranges in the background, unfortunately. I didn't. Uh, I didn't pick those colours too well. 
but as you can see I loved colouring in this and this is the next one so that's my completed pages in that one then we have Sun Life Drawing Animals One Colour Arts this again is a very very new book and I've just coloured the one in here which is this one But as you can see, they are literally lines and, and dots to make up the images. And I just find books like this so lovely for that stress-free, mindless colouring that you guys know I am a huge fan of. So there is that one. Then I have World of Mice Stained Glass, coloured by number, again by Sun Life Drawing. And this is just the cutest ever. It is adorable. I love these stained glass books. They are so cute. Really, really cute. And again, I'll show you my completed pages. just so fun to colour and you can't help but smile. So I do use a mixture of Crayola Super Tips, Statler Tri Plus Colour, Statler 326s, um, Cali Arts, Tian Hao Markers, all sorts. And as you can see, they turn out beautifully. They're so gorgeous and vibrant with the colours as well. They're lovely. Really, really cheerful pictures. So that is my completed pages in that one. Whoops, I'm wiping out the tripod. Then we have Travel Mosaic, Colour by Numbers, again by Sun Life Drawing. Um, I purchased this one quite recently. Um... And again, it's that typical stained glass, you know, the lines between. But I have seen people use gel pens to sort of colour the lines as well. And it looks so effective. So I, I need to give that a try. I really do. Um, I've only completed two pages in this one so far. Oh no, tell a lie. One. I've completed one and it was this one. And again, the same, you know, the same variety of markers that I've used in all of the Sun Life drawing books. But as you can see, like, the, the colours, they just look so good. So good. I love these books very much, as you can tell. <laughs> and then we have Colour by Number Mystery Quest. Now... I probably wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you have a visual impairment because as you can see the lines are grey, the line work is grey, um, you know you kind of have to look quite close at some of the numbers, for me it's fine but it's just something to be mindful of if you have a visual impairment and with this one as well the pages, for each page you've got a different shape, I think there's like four or five shapes alternating between the pages. So we have circles, squares, um, hexagons, triangles. So we have a mixture of those shapes. I've coloured a few in here. This was the first one. I coloured on the 20th of July 2019 and that was for Colour Your Hoard. I used the um, Arteza fine liners for that one and it took forever. <laughs> but I soon learned. I soon learned. Use thicker water-based markers. 
I love this one. Once the book is done, I do think this is one that I will probably cut out and put put up by my desk. There's this one. The Pretty Birds. That one. And this is the most recent the snail. So that's my pages from Colour by Number Mystery Quest. And then finally for Sun Life Drawing, I have the One Colour Relaxation Art Animal Stencils. And again, you can, you just, you know, they're saying that you can just use one marker, you know, one colour and just colour the whole page. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to use a variety of colours, you absolutely can. It's your book. It's your book. Colour how you want. But I've completed quite a few in this one, so I do think I'm going to try and get this one finished this month as well. So I'll show you my finished pages. I won't tan it landscape and stuff. Because you can get the you can get the gist of it. This is one where I tried different colours, and I I like how it turned out. But I just found it just so much nicer to use just one colour, so I went back to that after this after um, that page. can see I enjoy these books a lot <laughs> so if you haven't got any Sun Life drawing books I would highly recommend them okay I used alcohol markers on this one um, and as you can see it bled outside the lines quite a lot and it just yeah <laughs> I wasn't overly happy with how that one turned out on this one, I did try um, my glitter gel pens on that one. So we have a very, very shiny bowl on that one. But I think that looks really cool. I love how that one turned out. This is like a peachy, corally colour, but it looks almost like a, like a kind of tan colour through the camera love this colour the elephant <laughs> so cute love that one and this one I think that's yeah that's the last one I've done so I'm mm, yeah, not not quite halfway, but um, you know, if I can complete over, like half a book in like three weeks, like I did with the um, the animal mosaics, then I'm sure I can do that with this one. So we shall see. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. I'll try and get this one finished in February. Right. Let me just put those books to the side because, like I said, um, I will be using those. Oh my gosh for uh, the colour along this month. I'll take a sip of my drink and then we will move on to the next pile. And this will definitely be um, an annual thing where I share my colouring book collection with you. Okay, next, this book is huge. Um, Animal Quackles by Thomas Pavitt. And basically, it's all these circles, um, and then you've got, they're numbered from one to five. One being your darkest colour, five being your lightest. You can choose the colours. They don't have to be the same tone. It doesn't have to be all blues or pinks or greens. You can use any colours you want, so long as it goes sort of darkest to lightest, if that makes sense. So this is what the designs are like. 
like I said, this book is huge. So that's the top. And then you've got all of this. It is massive. I would say this is probably maybe slightly bigger than A3. Um, but I have done two, I think, in this book. Yeah, okay. So there's my draft. So see, you've got the darkest going to the, the lightest. So that this is the dark blue is one. This blue is two. The pink is three. Light blue is four and yellow is five. And I really like how that turned out. I think that's really, really cool. And then on the next one, this one, I used sort of like blues and turquoise. I kept that one a limited palette. But these, again, these are just so fun. Really, really fun. I would say the more detailed ones like this, where you've got tiny, itty bitty circles, these may be a struggle if you have a visual impairment. So that is just something to be mindful of. But because these pages are single sided, you can use alcohol markers. Just be mindful because the lines are, are really fine on these. So it's just something to be careful of. But on that last one I showed you, this one, um, I did use the um, Bic Marking Ultra Fine. And they work great on this. And the paper is quite nice and thick as well. So it will hold it well. Just be mindful. Like I said, if you're using um, like Cali Arts or Ohuhu, something like that, just be mindful that these lines are quite thin. So you do risk the ink bleeding and spreading over the lines so that's that one okay and then we have geometric patterns volume one by david hinkin jr um i was introduced to these books by lisa from lisa's coloring corner um and these are fantastic when when my pain is really bad and I just need a distraction um, and I don't, you know, if I'm not feeling great or if I'm stressed, these are brilliant, really, really helpful. Um, so if you like geometric designs, these are perfect for you. Lots to choose from and there is so many books in this series, so I will definitely be adding to my collection. I have just this one for the moment but they are amazing. So let me show you what I've coloured. So I've done this one. And I think this was a uh, Crayola Super Tips. Let's have a look. Maybe not. Okay, so this must have been then some of the Bic marking markers and a glitter gel pen. And it was just so much fun. So I've coloured that one. And then it might be easier to just go from the back, actually. This one. So again, that was some alcohol markers. And Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. So I love the shine on that one. I think that came out really nice. Um, and then I think there's some that I, I wouldn't necessarily colour, but most of them I would. This one is all glitter gel pens. I think that was done with my Chromatech gel pens. And that one, it's a very shiny and sparkly. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for that one. Then I have Nice Little Town Christmas 2. This is by Tatiana Bogima Stalova. And I don't think I've coloured anything in this one. I need to get on that. But super, super cute. 
then we have um let's see we have magical beauties book one by christina McAllister, and these are grayscale images really really beautiful some are more detailed than others that is the only page in this one i've colored but i like i like how she turned out apologies for the background noise from the neighbors beautiful absolutely gorgeous really really nice images and because they're single-sided you can use alcohol markers i did for her skin and for some of her hair if i just show you there so that's the reverse but so long as you've got a blotter page you will be fine you know just to protect your next image but yeah i used a lot of alcohol markers on her and i think she turned out nice not my favorite but it was fun and that is the most important thing then i have um magical beauties coloring book book two i haven't colored anything in this one not yet anyway but again just beautiful beautiful images and these look more like um uh portrait you know side on views of the faces and then i also have um magical beauties coloring book book three again by christina McAllister, and i've not colored in this one either but then i haven't had these books very long so that is gorgeous i think she will probably be the first one in this one that i color because i love i love that picture so much beautiful this would be a good one to do for valentine's wouldn't it with all the hearts and things very very pretty so there's it with that one then moving into my camellia angel cobra books so i have 50 graceful unicorns these are printed single-sided so you can use alcohol markers just be mindful blot a page between to protect your next image bloody bloody blah, blah, blah you know all that stuff look at these are they not adorable colored this one and i colored this pink because the lady who sent me this book bless her heart she asked if i could color a pink unicorn and i was like absolutely so there we go i've got the shiny accents on her that's the only one i've colored in here but um i definitely want to do more that is beautiful i love that one but yeah you get 50 images of unicorns what's not to love look at them they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so there's that one and then i have 50 spiral mandalas by camellia angel cova and it is exactly what it says on the cover it is spiralled mandalas lots of beautiful beautiful designs in here um so i've done that one that was last month i think i completed that one and then i think there's a few others that one that was for angel covember which i co-hosted with lisa in november i thought there was another one i thought i'd done like an anti-bullying one unless that's in a different um might be in a different mandala book yeah maybe we'll find that one in a sec okay so i then have 101 unique mandalas look at the size of this book huge 
So this, if you love mandalas, this will be perfect for you. So much to do in here. And there's a really nice variety. So we've got Celtic mandalas. We've got sort of like Maori style lotus flowers. Kind of like Aztec designs. Here we go. And there's the one I coloured for Angel Covember. And hashtag odd socks against bullying. So, coloured that one. I did write on there as well. Against hashtag against bullying and stuff. I was really, really pleased with that one. So I've got some... Oh, just gone past some heart ones, I think. Yeah. So you've got some in here for Valentine's, which would be great. And these books are perfect because they're single-sided. You can use your alcohol markers, your gel pens, water-based markers, pencils, whatever you like. Dream catches. So as you can see, there's such a nice variety. Okay, so that's another one that I've done. And that one. It's all in glitter gel pen. And yeah, there's a couple here in the beginning as well, so I'll show you those. So I coloured the nameplate page. And this one, that one's got um, some glitter gel pen on it as well. Really pretty. I like the colours on that one a lot. This one. This was done with um, the Bic... Bic marking ultra fines, I believe, or it may have been um, the ultra fine sharpies, one or the other. And that one was for Angel Covember, and I wanted this to kind of look like um, like the poppy for Remembrance Day. I wanted to sort of, you know, do that. And as you can see, that has got um, Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic on it as well, to add a bit of sparkle. I think that was all the pages in here that I coloured. Yeah. I've done quite a few in that one. Then we have 100 Beautiful Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. Again, this is a great selection. Really, really lovely. Some super detailed ones and then some easier ones. So I've coloured this one. I used jelly rolls on that one as well. Jelly rolls and Crayola super tips, I think, on that one. But just, yeah, lots and lots of gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. So let's. There was a few others in there that I've coloured. Let's see. Okay, so there was that one. And that that is just markers, there's no gel pens or anything on that one. I was just trying out different um, colour combinations. This one, which was for Angel Covember, and I'd done that all in gel pens. And I didn't like how it turned out. <laughs> I think it was the, um, the the Jelly Roll Moonlights. I just, because they went over the black lines, I was just a bit like, Neh, and I smudged it up here. Um, the colours are pretty. <laughs> the colours are pretty, but I'm just, yeah, not, oh, not happy with the overall outcome of that one. I thought there was another one. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, then I have 50 wintertime mandalas. Um, I don't know if I've coloured in this one. But these are lovely. They have like an image, a drawn image in the centre and then sort of like a border around, which is really nice. Oh, yeah, I have. There's that one. I was trying one of the um, one of the unusual colours of the Pentel Hybrid. I think it was the blue ink with gold glitter. 
I was trying that on those, as you can see, super shiny. Oh, and there's another one, Christmas tree. So I did colour in this one. <laughs> I didn't think I had. But they're so, so cute. Really, really pretty. Really, really lovely designs in that one and again they're all single sided then we have mandalas for relaxation and meditation so again all different kinds of mandalas in this one I've done quite a few so let's have a look that one this was for hashtag glitter for pickle and that was all done in glitter gel pens and a metallic jelly roll so there was that one this one using my neon statler markers and a black black pen just to make some of those colors pop I didn't like this one. I didn't like how that turned out. But that was using the um the link gel pens. They're amazing and they are fantastic value for money, but they do take longer to dry. Um and I just yeah, I think because I just I don't know. I didn't like the colours that I used together on that one. But it's shiny, it's pretty. <laughs> Again, this is another one just trying out different um, different colour combinations on that one I really like this one and that was for Angel Covember as was that one I love that colour palette I need to use that again really really pretty and that has got some yeah I think the pink is um glitter gel pen that's a chromatech glitter gel pen on there but i think that's it i don't think i've colored anything else no i was working through that one in order and then we have halloween mandalas this is brilliant it's so fun it really is a great book so again, this has got sort of like the images in the centre and then the border around the, the circle for the mandala. Coloured this one for hashtag colour your hoard and hashtag spooky cute colouring. Adorable. Look at him. A little pink bat. He's so cute. I think I've coloured yeah, that one as well. This was just so quick and easy. That was for Angel Covember. Um, and that was, um, I think it was an Arteza Everblend marker on that. And then Ultra Fine Sharpie and a Jelly Roll Moonlight just to go around the edges of the bats. And then a Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic to go around the lines there and around the border. If you can see. I don't know if that was showing up. But I wasn't sure what to do with the ghosts around the edges, so I thought I'll just leave them white. That's it for that one. Then we have Sun and Moon Mandala Colouring Book by Camellia Angel Cobra. This one is really cute. I love that with the planets. That is beautiful. That may have to be the one I colour in here next. So this was for Colour Your Hoard and Angel Covember. And I used Arteza Everblend markers and my Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallics. And it looks like a Chromatech marker as well. Very shiny. I liked how that one turned out with the, the blues and the, the yellows. Really, really pretty. I don't think I've coloured anything else in there. No. But it's, it's 
you know, super, super cute. So if you're into um, sun and moons, that is definitely a book for you. Um, and then we've got, okay, we've got three more Camellia Angel Coven books. <laughs> so we have Lotus Flower Mandalas, fif yeah, 50 Lotus Flower Mandalas. This one is beautiful. I love this one. So, so pretty. I coloured that one. That was for Angel Covember. And that was just with alcohol markers and a bit of glitter gel pen. On that one. The um, hybrid dual metallic. And this one, this was for Colour Your Hoard, which I love how that one turned out. It's really, really pretty. So, very, very pretty book, that one. Then we have more of a detailed one. We have the Celtic Inspired Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cover. And I love this because you kind of, you have to think and look and see sort of where the designs are sort of twisting over and under and stuff I really like that about this book don't get me wrong I've got muddled a few times but um yeah it's so much fun I definitely need to come back and colour in this one I've done a few so I've done that one again red orange yellow with some gold on there And I've coloured that one. This was the first one I coloured in here. That's it for that one. And then the final one is Christmas Mandalas. So this is a smaller book. This is a small square book. So compared to the regular size of Camellia's books, they are the same width, but they are considerably smaller in height but this is great and it's thin so this would be really handy to you know if you've got sort of like a, a bigger handbag this would be really handy to take with you and because it's small it's light so this would be great to carry around with you for the festive season i've done that one this was all in gel pens for angel covember and color your hoard I've done another one in here. No, maybe not. So there's that one. Okay, let me just. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? We'll sort those out later. Okay, we're going to move on to the Misfits books now. I have four. I did have more than that, but the girls have swiped quite a few. <laughs> So I have Misfits, a fairy colouring book for adults and odd children. So this is volume four. What's that? Oh no, okay. But I love Misfits books. There's, there's just nothing not, not to love about them. So there's that one. May Brock's works magic in these books as well. She does such a beautiful job. That one. I will get all of them eventually. But yeah, the girls uh, took a liking to a few of them. <laughs> I guess that's probably why my book collection will never get over a certain amount because the kids are always sort of having a rummage through seeing what I have. <laughs> I've got a little bit of uh, glitter there on her wings. Love the colours on that one. So cute. I'm going to colour that one. And these are great for your alcohol markers. If you put a blotter page down, they're great for that. So cute. So there's that one. Then we have Misfits, a nautical colouring book 
volume five. Colored that one. Got acrylic um, paint up there on the background, and then watercolors for the water. But I don't know if it was neo colors or or what. I'm not. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, really happy with that one. It's just so much fun. Just, I really think that these Misfits books kind of invite you to just let loose and have fun on the pages. And I love that about them. And that one. I tried doing a like, flicking technique with white acrylic. It's purple acrylic for the background. On that one. I was happy with it until I sort of just decided to doodle over her hair with a white Posca. I was like, what, what have I done? But these are just, these are so cute. Really, really adorable pages in that one. Then I have Misfits number seven, which is, what is the, um, the unicorn colouring book, again by White Stag. And some of these are much more detailed than others. Look at all the crystals on this one. Look at that. But can you imagine how fantastic that would look when it's all coloured? So if you want to practice crystals, there you go. <laughs> Great page to do that. But these are just so beautiful, so fun as well, and really quirky. I love that about White Stag's artwork. So here's one. I've used black acrylic on the background and this was the first time on a live stream that I ever tried flicking white acrylic and oh my gosh we just had such a giggle. Unfortunately that video is not available anymore but um, we had such a hoot doing the live stream for that. Seeing me battling with white acrylic and I ended up with it all over my desk, it was all over the lamp. Um, but that was that was hilarious. That was just so fun. I coloured that one. Little bit chose that one for me to colour. Bless her. But there, chosen by Emmy, twenty second of February, twenty nineteen. She wanted me to colour that unicorn for her. So I think when this book is completed, I will um, I will exact a knife this one out and frame it for her. But yeah absolutely brilliant and then the last one i have is misfits number 10 a winter fantasy coloring book i don't think i've colored much in this one. Oh, hang on okay so i've done that one i was really happy with how the fluff came out on her jacket and hat and stuff all the the fluffy trim and I was just really, you know, wasn't anything fussy or detailed or anything. But yeah, I like that one. So many cute, cute pages to choose from. That one, that was just alcohol marker and Posca. Um, that one, I think I got put, it was either Wink of Stella or Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter on her wings. It was very cute, a little Christmas fairy. So there's that one. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can hear my belly grumbling, but wow, that was um, <laughs> was pretty epic. Okay, and then finally for part one of my coloring book collection, I have my Coloring Heaven magazines. I do have a subscription. Um, however, you will notice that I don't have all of them since I started my subscription um, nearly two years ago because just some of the issues are just not for me um, so some I've donated to the kids some I've passed on I've sent on to other people who I think would like them um, they've been donated to friends so yeah so the first one I have is um, the Halloween special issue number 41 and this has got images from Molly Harrison, Selena Fennec, Lisa Matrokin, and Enos Guerrero. So it's got a beautiful selection of images in this one. I coloured that one. But 
But this is my second copy of this issue because I screwed up my first one. But in my first issue, I coloured her but made her look like a zombie belle from Beauty and the Beast. So I want to do that again on that one. And I'd also coloured her as well as a buddy colour. So this is that one. Then I have the Woodland Fairies special, issue number 49. And these are by Christine and Karen. And I absolutely love her artwork, but I am so intimidated by it. But now that I'm getting into um, like the Jade Summer Grey scale, I'm kind of feeling more that I could maybe have a go with these. Um, but I would probably stick to like a marker base first and shade with pencils maybe. But I have I have coloured one, this one, and that is exactly what I done on her skin. Um, it was a marker base, and then I shaded it with pencil. The rest is just markers. I think I've it, yeah. It looks like I have added some pencil to her hair, although it's not very noticeable, and the little four leaf clovers. But yeah, that was alcohol markers and pencil on that one that's the only one in here that I've coloured but I do I do like the colour of her hair I just wish I'd sort of maybe gone in with a darker darker pencil but there's that one then I have the world of princesses special this was issue number 52 um, and the designs in here are by Fabiana Trere and these are stunning absolutely breathtaking images i colored that one i'm so happy with how she turned out and then there's the um the pentel hybrid dual metallic there as well on her but i i just i love that i love her skin tone it's just i was really pleased and i did try um shading a little bit with with markers and sort of blending them which I'm, I'm really not used to doing at all um but it's something that i definitely want to get into but as you can see these are just truly beautiful beautiful pictures and i'm so happy to have this book because i can see me working out of this a lot in the future it's gorgeous Okay, I then have the Colouring Heaven Collection Annual 2019. Um, the collection issues, they are not included in your subscription. Um, I repeat, they are not included in your monthly subscription. These, the collection editions are ones that you have to purchase individually. So this one had a variety of designs taken from um, issues of Colouring Heaven from the 2019. So really nice selection of images there. As you can see. So this has got all sorts in it. Absolutely beautiful. So I think to have a book like that with work from different artists in it is great. Um, I definitely need to colour in that one. Okay, and then I have um, the Colouring Heaven Frightlings Halloween. Again, this was a collector's issue. And the images in here are by Tabitha Thorpe. And they are just amazing. I love this book. This has got to be one of my favourite um, issues of Colouring Heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I mean, just, just look, look. What's not to love? This is so me. It really is. It's just got me written all over it. Love it. Look at him. Look. Oh my gosh, I cannot take it. But I did colour one in here. I need to come back to this. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay, I yeah, I coloured him. So this was um, 
pretty much alcohol markers and glitter gel pen and some Posca. That's it. <laughs> so really, really simple. Nothing fussy, nothing fancy. But um, yeah, I like I like the way that that turned out. I like the colours on him as well. But as you can see, I had a blotter page, so I've protected. Um, what's he called? Cedric Yetiling. So we've protected him so he can be coloured. Yay! <laughs> but this is just so fun. Um, yeah, I definitely need to work in that one more. I then have the Halloween special, which was from October just gone, I believe. Um, and this is issue number 54. And it has designs from Camille Fister, Nikki Burnett, Vanessa Yotamoto, Zoe Sadler, Vera Ma, and Carissa Rose. Look at these for a selection of images. They are truly beautiful. I don't think I've coloured in this one. I don't think I have. No, I haven't coloured in that one. Um, I then have the Christmas special. And this had designs from Micah Gelina, Charles Santore, Elena Lazareva, Alfred Villanueva and Creative Happy Life. Now, my one thing about this one, you know, the artwork is, you know, all of it is absolutely stunning. Um... But we had a lot by um, Charles Santore, which I'm I'm not knocking. I'm, his artwork is stunning. But with Micah Jelena, we only had two images from her. So I just think it would have been nice to have, like, you know, like an equal amount between the artists. I just think that would have been, that would have been nice. Um, but again, like Creative Happy Life, they've got one, two, three, four, four pages at the back. Alef, Alfred Villanueva had quite a lot as well. But it would just be nice to have the same amount because personally, I, I love Micah Jelena's work. So it would have been nice to have a few more pages from her. But that's that's just me being a, being a fuss ass. <laughs> Okay, I then have the Alice special, um, issue number 56, and this has designs from Jasmine Beckett Griffith, Good Wives and Warriors, Fabiana Atanasio, and Charles Santore. And I have the same issue with this one. The images are stunning. I love them. I, I love Fabiana's artwork. Um, but the majority of this issue is Charles Santore. Again, I love his artwork, it is stunning, but we've pretty much got his whole book of Alice in Wonderland, you know? It would just be nice to have, you know, an equal amount from each artist. But it's still a beautiful, beautiful book, and I definitely need to colour in that one. Then I have the Dark Fantasy Special. Um, and the images in this one are from Ines Guerrero. I am kicking myself because the images in this are stunning. I will colour each and every single one. But I started um, the aerial page in here. And look at the mess of this my alcohol marker that I was using up here for her skin that ran out so then I tried finding a marker to match and it was a peachy colour and I was like mm, that's not working I went over with another marker and I now have a hot mess and I don't know what to do because this was one of my favourite images in the book so part of me I'm kind of thinking maybe washi tape it Maybe do, uh, um, I don't know, just to cover it up. 
but because I messed up that image, of course it's, it's a work in progress, but because I messed it up, I'm kind of like, I've been really reluctant to touch this book ever since, because I don't want to ruin any other images, because I love them all so, so much, and I know that this book is so hard to get hold of now, but I'm, I'm kicking myself for that. I really am. And then finally, I have the Colouring Heaven Dreamtime Special, and this is by Hannah Carlson. And if you don't know by now, I love her artwork, and I am so excited because even though I have, you know, the books of these pages in, her hardback books are double-sided, so you can't use alcohol markers unless you're willing to sacrifice a page, which I'm not. These are single-sided. These are single-sided, so you can use alcohol markers on these pages. Woo! I am so, oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So I will definitely be using markers in this one. So that is it, guys. That is part one of my entire colouring book collection and showing you my completed pages and any whips that I may have. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you join me again soon for part two. Take care. Bye.